Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorsForum.com, and uh, Real Illusion Forum. Today I have an interesting one for you that's kind of a collaborative effort in terms of uh, my knowledge was uh, expanded by Gurgis on our forum, as well as Rampa, as well as uh, somebody else, one other guy on the thread. I'm sorry, I've forgotten his name, uh, or his online name at least. Um, but in any case, um, these guys were coming up with a technique that we've all kind of uh, contributed to, and... I have the least contribution, but I'm going to make the tutorial on it because I, I know those of you that subscribe are going to want to see this. So, a lot of people have asked, how can we use these skeletons from Daz with, uh, with Character Creator? In particular, how can we put clothing on them? Now, if you were going to just use the skeleton itself, you could just export this and then bring it into 3D Exchange and rig it as a non-standard character. That works just fine. And then you can apply motions, you can, you can do all the stuff you would apply to an avatar normally. The one thing we can't do, though, is bringing them in that way, is uh, put clothing on, like you have here. Now, you could dress them in Daz like this and export them, and again, use 3D Exchange to do that. But the, the nice thing about putting them into Character Creator is that then we can just you know, dress them in all your Real Illusion clothing or Daz clothing, whatever. You can do that as, you, as it comes. So how do we do that? So we're going to use this Midnight Skeleton. It's important whatever your skeleton you use that you uh, check to see how it was created. So a lot of these uh, will say, like, there's a Midnight Skeleton or somebody, I don't know. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. We're going to use Scallywags. This is a Midnight Skeleton. But if we go back here, it says it's based on the Genesis 3 male. Okay, you see that? Genesis 3 male. But if we go to, um, we're going to use Scallywags. So we've got a skeleton in here. And we go to Mr. Scallywags. So the ones that are based on Genesis 3 male, obviously, are Genesis 8 male, you can see. But here's one called Mr. Scallywags that it's not really based. It says it has some compatibility with Gen Genesis 3 male poses. Okay, it's very important to know how it's rigged. So in this particular case, we know, we know that it's mostly rigged for Genesis 3. Because if it was rigged exactly for one of the other Genesis models, it makes it easier but at least you need to know what it's rigged for. So Genesis 3, male. Okay, so we go to Daz. We bring in this. I'm using a Genesis 8 male. Okay, you can use any, any one you want, but you just need to know what it's based for. And the first thing I'm going to do with this Genesis 8 male is I'm going to uh, make him thin. And the reason I want to do that is that I want the clothing to fit on him properly. And the thinner he is, the better he'll look uh, the clothing will fit. You, if you if you make him thin afterwards, you try to use thin, uh, you know, morphs and things for him. It'll also with the skeleton already attached, it'll shrink down that skeleton too. So we don't want to do that. We just want to make this guy thin. And you know, you can use whatever thin morphs you happen to have. In this case, I have a a Bert morph. Uh, obviously, that guy's really really thin. <laughs> And, uh, you know, if you have some other, you know, thin morphs out there, you can, you can find, I have just a, uh, some, I think I have just a thin, yeah, so it's already based up 90%. Well, so, all right, so anyway, so that would be the first start, is you want a thin morph. The next thing you want to do is with the figure selected, so we have this figure highlighted here, then we want to go to uh, edit and figure down here, and we want to go to zero and zero the figure. Um, this isn't... As significant with, uh, well, I'm sorry. Well, we're going to zero it first, I guess, and then we'll apply the thin morphs. Okay, well, we'll we'll try that again. Let's see if we can do this again. Let's go back to. <laughs> I actually haven't done this whole tutorial. Okay, where is? Ooh, Wither's even better. Oh, let's use that one. That's that's really good. It's a skeleton, even better. Okay, this this is great. Uh, okay, so now we got the zeroed out. We have this morph. We have I have people coming, company, but my wife will take care of it. Uh, so now we want to go to Mr. Scallywags, which is right here, Mr. Scallywags. And we want to just drag him over into there. And he will go in there. And so now we want to fit him to that character. So I'm selecting Mr. Scallywags here. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to fit him to. And I want to fit him to that Genesis 8 male. Okay? And we want to parent to the target. So accept that. So now what figure was it designed for originally? See, we say Genesis 3 male. That's that key to know where it's mostly rigged for, and we want to use full body as the full body. So we accept that. So now it goes through, and now we'll try to match up as close as possible uh, those bones to the, the Genesis 8 male bones. And then when it's all done, 
we will have, as you can see, uh, a pretty good, pretty good matchup, almost exactly. So now we're set. Woo! Okay. So now we go ahead, file, export, save this guy out. So we'll call it uh, Mr. Oh, I already have Mr. Scallywags. We'll, we'll use Mr. Scallywags again. The other thing you want to do too is, I didn't go through this already, but you want to go ahead and get your morphs that you want. So I happen to know that these are some of the morphs available because I've already done this before, but. Uh, you can export all the morphs. So we've talked about this, I think, in one of the other tutorials I did, where the, you know you get the more morphs, the better, uh, to a certain extent, because then you have to delete the ones that are you know too much, which you can do. But these are ones I know work well. So um, so then we'll do that. So we'll say fine, okay, and we're back. So that, <laughs> that took a while. So now we come into Character Creator and we load up uh, Mr. Scallywags. And remember, this is the part where it checks to see if it's a legitimate Genesis file, and it is. And we use basic, we only use advanced if we want to get the skin textures for the Genesis 3 figure, which we don't really care about here. And we're not going to save this. And now it's going to load in, and it's going to load in all of those. Uh... Now, here, Midnight Skeleton, it is cloth, but we don't want to use the default template. The reason is the default template will not uh, correctly morph the, the face properly. It'll make it change. So we're going to use other, other, okay? And you can change the size if you want, but I'm, I'm going to leave it like that. So I'll say that, and we're back. And here we go. And there's the, uh, the avatar with the skeleton. Now, if we go to the scene, and what you want to do is you would want to hide or otherwise make it transparent for the skeleton. And there you go. You have your skeleton there. Creepy looking as, as it could possibly be. <laughs> and, um, and then... With with this, as you notice, you'll, you'll have a lot of morphs here, so you can adjust. Now, I would I'm going to get rid of half of these morphs, but for example, we can we can do this with a, with a skull. I don't know if you can see that very well, but then the skull gets sad there, so you know. So it, those morphs all work, and uh, and then if we have the base turned on, just so you can see, we'll put some clothes on him, just to uh, actually, you know, what I'll do this. We'll put, uh, let's see, what do we got here? How about, uh, not a dress, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to him. That would be hardly fair. Uh, something here we can put on him. What have we got here? Uh, temp, no, ah, I can do that, sure, we can do that. Let's put a, uh, a knight, we'll make him a knight of the round table. Hey, <laughs> dead knight of the round table, there we go. Okay, and so then if we come in here, we turn this off, you can see that it, that it hangs on here pretty good. Now, it's not perfect. It's still floating above there a little bit, and we can actually fit that a little bit more by, by taking the cloth and, and redressing it, but uh, it's pretty close. And, and if you have this guy, you know, moving around, we'll send him to, uh, to iClone. I have this guy moving around in an apron here, so this is, a, this is a similar one moving around. You can see him moving in the apron. The apron fits pretty good there. Uh, so so it looks all right, like he's uh, <laughs> like he's doing it. That's good. Uh, but but you can also, if we have this selected like that, actually we got to come to the scene, scene, and not select the light, but select the character, right? Yeah. Okay, character base. We have that selected. And then if we go here and we send that to export, send it to character to iClone. And it should just bring him right on top of this guy. And we will see it loaded in here. Da -da -da, come sa. And there we go. And there's a knight templar. And you can see how the how the clothing works pretty good on those on those bones. You know. It's uh it's not bad. And we could we can play around with it a little bit. So there's so there's a way of doing that. There's a way of actually uh, bringing in your skeletons and, and having fun with them. So uh Thanks to everybody that contributed to that process. Thank you for uh, for letting me know how to do this. And now I, I, I let you guys know how to do it. So talk to you later.